do you know that your vagina has a natural smell it has a natural smell so it is so unrealistic for you to think that your vagina is going to smell like a perfume it's going to smell like roses it's going to smell like a good flower or a good body spray because a lot of women are under pressure to make that vagina smell nice so they get a lot of chemicals a lot of medications just to make the vagina smell nice good day everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is messi mary popularly known as a nurse with the difference and i make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers today i'm going to be sharing with you different smells of the vagina what it signifies and when you are to see the doctor different smells of the vagina what it signifies and when you are to see the doctor why that smell is also present i'm going to be explaining it to you so you know so it's not a smell from the vagina that is something you have to run and meet the doctor some are just there they are natural but if this particular smell comes out it is something you have to run to your doctor to provide solution but before we go into details into this class if you are new on our youtube channel please click on the subscribe button turn on the notification button so you don't miss out for all our returning subscribers this is not miss mary saying what this is not miss mary saying thank you let's go there all right welcome back like i earlier said today i'm going to be sharing with you seven different smells from the vagina seven different smells from the vagina what they mean and what causes them generally you want to ask nurse miss mary why did you say the vagina smell naturally yes the vagina smells naturally because of the acidity of the vagina i've told you several times that the vagina has a bacteria a good bacteria known as lactobacilli that works around that area that works around the vagina to keep it moist to keep it lubricated to keep it moisturized to keep it nice so those activities that makes the um the vagina acidic can actually makes the vagina smell naturally and also a lot of things can affect um the vaginal um smell for example semen during sexual intercourse have you noticed that during sexual intercourse when semen comes you understand semen goes into the vaginal there's this, there's a kind of particular smell as a lady you feel because there's an interaction between that semen and um the acidic nature of the vagina so when semen comes in contact with the vagina a particular smell is being perceived and also when blood such as your meses comes in contact with the vagina there's a particular smell that comes out of it so a lot of things can change the smell of the vagina especially when these things are altering the ph of the vagina so i'm going to be sharing with you different smells from the vagina like seven so the first one is offensive and rotten smell oh i know you are like oh how can someone have offensive and rotten smell for the from the vagina yes it is possible this offensive and rotten smell is usually caused by tapons for those that use their tapons and forget it in their vagina, that can cause offensive and rotten smell. I know you will be asking, who does that? You think it doesn't exist? Yes, it does. If you are in uh, the community health setting, you are a midwife, you are a gynecologist and obstetrics, obstetrician, you're going to come in contact with people like that. For example, a lady close to the end of her meses, close to the end of her menstrual cycle, puts the pads, uh, put the tapons inside and forgets because it's no longer getting filled, it's at the end of the meses. So this lady feels like forgetfully, just forget about it and he like, I don't have, I'm done with my meses. Not knowing that she placed the last tapons in the vagina. That can create an offensive smell. And also, when a lady has sex with the tapons on, when a lady has sex 
with the tampon on so when the, a lady has sex with a tampon on it kind of move this tampons to the to a, another position that's around that cervix area it's not going away the tampons does not get missing so it kind of move it maybe to the back behind the cervix or something and that can cause rotting smell that can cause an offensive smell so when you notice this rotting and offensive smell ask yourself did i remove my last tap on yeah did i remove my last tap no measure cup or something like that then if not try as much as possible to remove it but if it's something you know you can't remove at that particular moment don't feel embarrassed visit your doctor visit your gp and get that done as soon as possible all right, then that takes us to the second smell from the vagina. I know a lot of ladies are familiar with this smell, which is the fishy smell. The fishy smell from the vagina. Let's explain the fishy smell greatly. The fishy smell is caused by two things. It's either caused by bacterial vaginosis or trichomonas vaginalis. Bacterial vaginosis or trichomonas vaginalis. Let me tell you. You see this bacterial vaginosis. Bacterial vaginosis is not a sexually transmitted infection, but rather it is a sexually associated infection. It is believed that when you have sexual intercourse, it, improve, it increases your chances of going down with bacterial vaginosis, but it is not sexually transmitted. Bacterial vaginosis can be caused by douching. For the ladies that douch, it can also cause bacterial vaginosis. So I don't advise ladies douching. This bacterial vaginosis occurs when there is an imbalance between the good bacteria and the uh, the bad bacteria in the vagina remember i told you that there is good bacteria in the vagina so when there's an imbalance between the good bacteria and the bad bacteria in the vagina it results in what bacterial vaginosis so bacterial vaginosis produces this white or cream discharge alongside with the fishy smear it produces what white or cream discharge alongside with the fishy smell then the other that causes fishy smell is trichomonas vaginalis trichomonas vaginalis this trichomonas vaginalis is a sexually transmitted infection that is for you to have it it has to involve a sexual partner there should be a communication between two partners sexually for you to get trichomonas vaginalis this trichomonas vaginalis comes alongside with other symptoms such as burning, inching or throbbing sensation around the vaginal area with some discharge. So if this comes alongside with this, we're going to be suspecting, the doctor is going to be suspecting trichomonas vaginalis. And also for them to get a definite diagnosis, they might do some gonorrhea tests to check, okay, is it gonorrhea or is trichomonas vaginalis? They just have to do some tests to complete their investigation. So if an individual is having a fishy smell, what should come to your mind is bacterial vaginosis and trichomonas vaginalis. Trichomonas vaginalis comes with a burning, inching sensation, unlike bacterial vaginosis, which does not come with a burning, inching sensation. I hope that is clear. But that's for those that have experience or have the fishy smell. So if you have that, it's advisable you see the doctor, get some antibiotics, the pain, get some antibiotics for the bacterial vaginosis, get some medications that will help to treat it. It is treatable. It's not something that is not treatable. Then the third smell I have to share with you is yeasty smell. You know how yeast smell? Yes. Yeasty smell from the vagina is simply a sign of thrush infection. Yeasty smell from the vagina is simply a sign of what? A sign of thrush infection. So generally, there are yeasts around the vagina. But when there's an overgrowth of this yeast in the vagina, it can cause that yeasty smell. And that is when they start giving you some anti-yeast medication to prevent that yeast. And yeast infection usually come with cottage cheese, cottage cheese discharge. Cottage cheese discharge. So when you're having a cottage, like a cheese form, you know how cheese, cottage cheese, when you're having such discharge alongside with a yeasty smell, that gives you a sign that you could be having a thrush 
infection and your doctor is going to prescribe an anti-yeast medication for you for you to get better so it's not something you should be worried about it's treatable so see a doctor when you experience that then the fourth smell i have to share with you is coppery smell coppery smell like um coin you know how coins smell how your pens smell those coins how they smell so those coppery smell is normal though it's usually um it's usually um found when you uh, the, you are seeing your period that's blood blood is coming in contact with the vagina you are seeing your period you usually get this coppery smell it alters you know blood contains iron true of us true so when that iron blood contains iron iron now sees the vagina all this gives that um coppery smell and also having sex when you are dried when your vagina is dried can give you the coppery smell so that coppery smell is not something you should be worried about just know during meses you are expected to have that coppery smell in quotes then the fifth smell i have to share with you is etsy smell etsy smell you know how it smells for example you are sweating for those that sweat a lot that smell around the grain you know ladies now around the grain around that area you sweat a lot that smell that comes out from it is known as the etsy smell so when you do a lot of exercise you've stressed yourself so much you sweat around that grain area it can gives you an etsy smell from the vagina so that etsy smell is not something you should be worried about it usually goes off when you take your bath so when you take your bath, you freshen up, you feel refreshed. That's why some of you, when you notice that you are stressed out from work, you just exercise. When you pull off, you say, oh God, this smells bad. You know what it is because that sweat is bad. So that actually misses with the vaginal fluid and all that. You see that Etsy smell. So when you take your bath, it's all gone and it's not something you should worry about or you keep talking about. Then the sixth smell I have to share with you is acidic or tangy smell acidic or tangy smell this is normal yeah it's not something you should be worried about because like i told you the vagina is acidic the vaginal ph is acidic so when you get that acidic or tangy smell it is normal it's actually the result of the good bacteria in the vagina the lactobacilli doing its works the lactobacilli is like lactobacilli is busy doing its work so you have that acidic or tangy smell then the last smell i have to share with you is chemical or bleaching smell you know how chemical smell you know how bleach smell so when you are having chemical or bleaching smell it can be as a result of urine coming in contact with the vagina for example um, you have urine droppings in your panties and it comes in contact with your vagina those urine droppings generally is what causes that chemical or bleaching smell around the the vagina so it is advisable generally to always be observant of your body ensure that when your bladder is full you go to the toilet you pass urine so that you don't have incontinence and urine starts dropping on your panties that can give you that chemical or bleachy smell so i hope i've been able to explain the various type of smell we have the offensive we have the fishy we have the etsy we have the coppery we have the we have the acidic, we have the chemical smell. All this smell signifies different things. Some you should be worried about and the others you should not be worried about. Remember I told you as a lady to help you do good, it is better for you to put on a cotton pant rather than a synthetic pant. Because a cotton pant will help increase the airflow to the vagina. But a synthetic pant cannot do that. So that is why it is advisable for ladies to put on a cotton pant rather than a synthetic pant. So this is what I have to share with you today in regards to the various smell of the vagina. So if you know you are having the fishy smell, it is time for you to see the doctor to carry out the test and know the best medications to give you at that particular moment, at that particular time. So different smells, different problems different different treatment so when you know the cause it is easier for you to treat when you get to the hospital you keep complaining to your doctor about the smell they ask you a series of questions like when did it start how does it smell how do you feel they ask this question and that gives them a clue to what to um, diagnose you or what treatment to give to you at that particular moment thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like 
don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is miss mary saying thank you bye and see you in our next video